In this video, I'll rig the legs for this flat style character on the left. I released a previous video on how to rig a more standard 3D leg rig, so you can check out that video for more of a thorough look, but I'll keep this one more minimal. This character design is really simple. His limbs are basically just silhouettes, so I don't have to worry about how the geometry connects to each other, it just has to look good from camera. First off, I'll move the body out of the way, and now I'll look at the geometry of the leg and see if it's good to start rigging. I was originally okay with how low res the foot was, but now that I look at it, the foot's a little too faceted, so I'll just add another row. So I'll make sure I'm under the modeling tab, I'll go to the mesh tools, insert edge loop, and now I can round out that foot a little bit better. And now I can build the skeleton. So I'll go to the rigging tab, go to skeleton, create joints. And we need to be in an orthographic view. So I'm in the front view, and now we can hit left click to start the chain and then keep clicking to build a hierarchy. Once I'm done, I'll hit enter, and now that leg chain is built. I'm just gonna go to the attribute editor and clean it up a little bit. I wanna make sure that the leg lengths are the same and I'll put a bend in the knee so that it bends the right way. And now we can create the IK handle by going under skeleton, create IK handle. I'll left click the top of the chain, then left click the bottom of the chain, and that creates the handle. If we move that around, it acts the way we'd expect. We can animate on the IK handle and the joints themselves, but everybody uses animation controls. So I'll create controls using NURB circles. I'll duplicate this curve and use it for a control for the top of the leg and one for the bottom of the foot. Reshape them a bit and freeze transforms. Now if I make the IK handle a child of that foot control and make the top joint chain a child of the upper leg control, now the controls move around the IK leg setup. And this is gonna be the foundation for our leg rig, but I'm not gonna to bind to these joints. Instead, I'll create what I call floating joints, which are a single joint chain. So if I go back to skeletons, create joints, left click once and hit enter, I get a single joint chain. Now I'll move that to the top of the leg and duplicate it down so I have five individual joints that I can use. Again, I'll set up animation controls. I use a circle and duplicate and snap into all the joints, reshape them and freeze transforms. And now I can make the joints a child of those controls. If I move those animation controls to the side, those are the five joints that we're gonna bind our leg geometry to but we want these to follow the IK rig, so make them a child of the upper and lower legs. I'll make these three a child of the upper leg joint, and these two a child of the lower leg joint. Now when we move the foot control, it drives the IK leg, and those circular shape controls follow those leg joints. And now we can bind the leg geometry to those joints, but it's getting a little bit tricky to pick those joints because they're stacked on top of each other. So I'll expand the hierarchy in the outliner and pick the joints there, shift select the geometry, go up to skin, bind skin, and I'll use selected joints and hit apply. And now the leg is bound to those joints so it acts like a normal leg IK and we can reshape it with the additional controls. And now I'll go to the foot and set that up in a similar way. I'll create a single floating joint, move that in place and duplicate it so I have three of them. I'll just move it away from the leg so it's a little bit easier to see, then create the animation controls and make those joints a child of those controls. The foot's ready to be bound so I'll just move that back to where it should be, freeze transform on the animation controls, select those three joints, shift select the foot geo, and bind skin. I'm treating this character a little bit more like a drawing, so I'm doing less of a hierarchy based setup and using more independent controls so I can reshape him more freely. Once I make the circle controls a child of the foot control, they now follow the rig. And at this stage, the leg rig could be done. It's very simplified and we haven't added anything to correct the knee pinch or how the foot and the leg connect together, but it has enough animation control for the animators to fix these things manually. Before I attach this to the body rig, I'll go ahead and just rename it and clean it up a bit. Then I'll make sure just to select this leg rig and its geometry. I'll export that out and import it to create the right leg. And now I'll attach both the legs to the body by grabbing their top control and making them a child of the hip control. These feet are rigged parallel to each other, which can be fine for many poses. But if you want to flip the foot outward, that can be scaled with a minus one in the X channel or rotated in Y by 180 degrees. When we flip the leg, it turned black, so we're seeing the back side of the surfaces and the normals are facing the wrong way. Which isn't a problem if you're using a renderer like Arnold, but if you want to make it look better in Maya, you can turn on two-sided lighting. Here's a quick animation test to see if the rig works, and to show how we can animate the scale and flip the leg from one side to the other while keeping the character flat to camera. If this feels a little bit too loose and you want to have more of a traditional hierarchy structure, we can easily do that by grouping controls. For example, all those foot controls are separated in the hierarchy. So if you want to lift up the toe, then you have to translate and rotate that end control to get that pose. And that could be fine, but if you'd rather, you can easily group that control underneath the center one, and now you can just rotate that center control to lift the toe. We could also group together the heel control and the lower leg control. 
Right now they're separated, so when we translate the foot, a bit of the geometry of the leg goes through the bottom of the heel. So we can group the lower leg control to the heel control, and then they'll be connected a little bit better. Right now I just lifted the heel off the ground, which is similar to the ball roll control that we usually have in standard 3D rigs. So we could set up that behavior by either adding another group node or moving the pivot on the heel. Now we can put the IK handle underneath the heel control, so when we rotate the heel, the knee bends. So those are some ways of how we could rig a flat leg rig. There's still so much more that we can do with this. So if you want to go further with it, then check out the last video on how to rig a standard 3D leg, and I'll go over some of those techniques in the next video when I rig his arms.